Good morning. I'm Damian J. This is the morning drive today. I'm going to be talking about the Helix 2 short from Hylite. If you've watched my review on the Vertex 2, I have to say pretty much the exact same review. These are great shorts. Once again, quality construction, some slight differences, mostly in the title and in the price. It does say that it has an integrated pocket, which is funny. I think what they're talking about as far as integrated pocket, it has this rounding off of the pocket, but it fits exactly the same. My phone is a Razer 2. It is about six inches by three inches and it fits right into the pocket. As you can see, actually fits a little bit better than it does in the Vertex 2. And that, once again, is the best feature of all Hylite shorts. Things that it has in common with the Vertex 2, that quality stitching, once again, everything is nice and double stitched. It does have the drawstring set up so that you can either wear them inside or out. The only thing that I don't like about how this is set up is the Vertex 2 actually has little covers over where the string would come out, where they got rid of that here on the Helix. So unfortunately you will see this even if you do your drawstring on the inside like I like to do. To bring them through is just simple. It's just that hole that goes almost kind of straight through. Kind of got to get at it from an angle and there it is. So pulling it through. The other big thing that you will notice, the high leap branding goes down the leg, whereas on the Helix, it's just right there down at the bottom. It's a 90% polyester, 10% spandex blend. The main difference that you're gonna find here is price. So once again, that crazy high leap pricing where it has retail versus their online. $72 for the retail, $62 for their online price. If you are a veteran, you can get a 20% discount. If you decide to go ahead and sign up for their team pricing, they kind of verify that through uh, one of the systems, probably Troop ID. Uh, Troop ID is a big one online. If you are a trainer, a personal trainer, if you have your NASM certificate or if you have your CrossFit level one, you just send them a picture of that, fill out a form and you'll get 40% off. That drops the price down to 43 dollars which is a great deal uh, if you don't want to do that if you want to just do the 20 percent or if you want to get 20 dollars i have a code that'll give you 20 to 30. high leets reviews are strange and that's the reason why i'm here to kind of tell you how this fits i weigh 185 pounds i'm five foot ten i weigh I wear a size 32. When you go to the Highly website, people just say true to fit, or they'll say awesome, or they'll say something like that. That's nice, but that doesn't tell you how something fits, so that's the main reason why I'm doing this review. As far as overall value goes, at $72, not a good deal. Even at the $62 pricing, not a great deal. But at $43 for the team price, that puts it right in line with the Vertex, because the Vertex, it goes all the way down to 41, so two more dollars, you're getting a newer type of short. So the pros and cons to that, obviously you saw in the beginning when I dropped my phone inside of there, there is a little bit more room there. That is a plus. One of the negatives would be that drawstring not having the covers on the front. Other than that, uh, it's $2 more. So it's up to you. If you want that bigger pocket and you want that space, that's fine. But as far as the quality, the craftsmanship, all of that, it's exactly the same. I will say that there are a few different colors and this is just off of memory. It's green, gray, black, and maybe a couple of other colors, whereas this one comes in a few different ones. I'm actually wearing the red right now. Uh, at the end of the review, I'll just show you where they hang. They're just like the Vertex 2 in that they come in three separate sizes, above the knee, at the knee, and below the knee. Pretty much the exact same sizing and everything. The only differences are that bigger pocket, that difference in how uh, waistband system works as far as the drawstring. Those are the big things there. For two extra dollars though, if you do manage to get the highlight team pricing for it, it's not terrible. It will open up your drawer if you're trying to get like brighter colors. I know that there's a nice blue. I have that one. I didn't bring it up. Um, they have the red that I'm wearing now. So there are color options that are available that make it, you know, very tempting to get. Um, and at $2, not a big deal. At 62, if you're buying it at the highly, you know, website price, 
I would say 56. So that $6 difference, not huge. It just depends on you really. Like I said, if you bring it down to that $2 difference, by all means, like fill up your drawer, get different colors. That's the way to go, especially if you really want to kind of open up those colors. If you're one of those people that's just happy and satisfied with like just the plain colors, by all means, $41 is a steal. Like I said in my review of the Vertex, it's an absolute steal. Other shorts are way more expensive. $43, for these, it's a steal too. Like I, I can't deny the value that you're getting if you can get that team price. $43 is so good compared to the other brands. At $62, however, if you aren't a veteran and you aren't a personal trainer and you're just somebody who's into fitness, I don't think that I can sit here and tell you that it's the best deal at $62. I feel like you could probably get shorts that are comparable. Now, are you gonna get that side pocket? No. Are you gonna get the adjustable drawstring? No. Are you gonna get that, that highly valuable you? No. So it really depends on you if you want to go ahead and step up and pay up to $15 more for a pair of shorts because you don't fit that particular thing. But I will say this, if you're looking at other shorts that are in that price range where they're sitting at $62 and you're going round for round with them, by all means, this is the better deal at $62. $62 is an absolute steal, because if you buy a pair of Lululemons for 70, or if you buy a pair of like the CrossFit branded shorts that can run up to 80, I can tell you right now, you are gonna be so much happier that you bought the highly at the 62. Totally worth it, well constructed, you will not be upset by the short. If you wanna save a little bit of money, maybe the Vertex is the way to go. If money's not really the issue and you just want a bigger pocket, I would say that the Helix is probably the way to go for the bigger pocket. The pocket isn't much of a difference. If you're looking for that extra couple of colors, that might be the way to go. So if you're looking for more colors in your closet, absolutely. If you're just one of those people, just doesn't care and just wants a pair of shorts, I would go over the Vertex. So that's all I got for you guys. If you have any specific questions about it, please drop it in the comments below. I can't guess what you might ask. You know, there's so many different questions. Being a coach, I hear tons of questions about, well, what does it do when you do this? What does it do when you do that? You know, like heavy lifts, like they're great in heavy lifts. They're stretchy. They got that 10%, they have that 10% spandex in them. They're, they're awesome, but maybe you have a different question or maybe you disagree and you know of a better short please drop it in the comments below. You can also go to my webpage, themorningdrive.co. And as always, you can follow me on the snaps, the tweets, and the grams. That's at Damian J, D-A-M-I-A-N-J-A-Y. I would just like to say that I'm gonna show you the short. I'm wearing them right now, just to give you an idea of where they land on my knee at the length, because I have the long short, and that's pretty much it. So have a great day, guys. I'm gonna go stand up on this thing, try not to break my crazy neck showing you these shorts. That's where they sit. As I said, perfect fit on the waist, from the front, so right down to that kneecap. All right guys, that's all I got.